what is up you guys it's cut your books welcome back to my channel and welcome to another supplement review and finally a pre-workout review so i'm super happy that i'm finally doing another pre-workout review it's been a while definitely i mean you guys saw my last one of the kraken i think that was like yeah my most previous one so it has been a while you know doing my proteins here and there but after trying redcon ones new vegan protein i was like amped to try their other products because i have usually tried their eas which is their essential amino acids which i love and i saw they had so many flavors of their pre-workout so i couldn't try all of them for you so i picked one flavor that i've never seen elsewhere which i got right here and it's their blue coconut other than that i'll like look up here let me look up their other flavors and tell you what they have so other flavors they have are green apple rainbow candy strawberry mango orange crush raspberry spider i don't know what that is watermelon blue lemonade strawberry kiwi blue raspberry sour gummy bear pineapple juice tiger's blood aussie autumn whatever that is grape and kiwi lime so i didn't tell they have more flavors than even c4 ever had so it's this is awesome and different flavors that you wouldn't see before like coconuts so let me also in this case go through the ingredients because luckily they do like line up and show or i mean <laughs> they, they do like itemize almost the supple like the ingredients i can't speak but the ingredients that they have in it and how much of each is in this so just looking at the back i see we have l-citrulline dl malate 2.1 um, ratio which is six grams Beta alanine, 3.2 grams. That's a good amount of beta alanine. Agmatine sulfate, one gram. Taurine, one gram. Caffeine, 250. This is all for one scoop, so I'm definitely just gonna stick to one scoop. Um, amp eye berry, junipurus, communis berry. Um, I, that probably is for um, like mood, just so you feel good kind of thing. Um, Infinergy is another trademark thing. D-caffeine malate, which is another 100 milligrams. Cocotinol, um, so I guess it's cocoa extract for another natural energy source, which is 50 milligrams. Naringin, I cannot pronounce these words, but citrus grandis, I haven't heard of that one before. 25 milligrams and bioprene black pepper extract, which is 10 milligrams, and that just helps you absorb everything. So yes, we've got our blue coconut and I'm gonna give this a whirl. Okay, first negative point about this is that I'm digging this deep just to get the darn scooper. It's even underneath the little thing in there that it helps with it not like clump up and get all the moisture. Though, so, oh my gosh, this is nuts, you guys. I am not freaking an architect. This is not my job, or an archeologist. You know, I'm just an accountant who wants to take pre-workout before her workout, so. Come on, you guys. Oh, man, this is a mess. Okay, we found the scooper. We're, we're, we're good to go, good to go. All right, so here it is. It's like a, almost, oh, oh, oh my gosh, after the powder. Um, <coughs> I'm good. All right, um, so yes, smells nice and coconutty. Oh, man, like I smell lime, coconut lime. It doesn't say that, it just says blue coconut, but it's more like coconut lime, like I'm about to have a margarita or something, but oh, let's see how it tastes. It's weird. It smells more coconutty. Tastes more limey. You can taste the coconut, but I don't know. I wish it was more coconut. It's weird. It smells like coconut. When I opened it up, I was like, "Oh, I smell coconut," but now I taste like all lime, which isn't bad, which is good. But I feel like they should have called it like coconut lime or something like that. Otherwise, you think you're just getting straight coconut. And you're like, "Whoa, where did this taste of lime come from?" That's just my opinion. I wish I could try more flavors for you guys. So if you want to send them over to me, I'd be happy to review them. Otherwise, we are here today to just, you know, give value to the product itself. It's for, it runs for $40 on their website. I got it from their website. I think they also have it at um, the vitamin shop. I don't know what other stores may carry it, but that's where I just like purchased it from. Been wanting to try, I've heard great things. 250 milligrams in one scoop. No wonder, it was a big, it was a fairly big scoop. But there are 30 servings in this. So for 40 bucks, you know, and if, if 250 milligrams is too much for you, you can easily split that scoop up. So that's the good thing. So let's see if, you know, the value is up to par. I'm not gonna 
take any other additional supplements other than my HMB and creatine when I go to the gym because actually that was one thing I did notice it didn't have creatine in it for someone looking for a creatine in a pre-workout they do have a few other pre-workouts I've seen um, they have one I can't remember the name of it but it is for pump and stuff like that so I'll definitely have to give that one a try maybe after this guy if you guys want me to give that one a try so I'm gonna go hit the gym see how this pre-workout reacts with me and yeah we're gonna go get a good session so I'll see you guys right after that all right guys so now just to recap back from my workout on you know total war pre-workout from Redcon one my thoughts on it um, so for an energy pre-workout yes it definitely delivered with energy I know they have a separate pump pre-workout so this didn't really give me much of a pump I would say it does have L-citrulline and like um, aguatine sulfate but I really didn't feel too much of a pump um, I'm not disappointed but I'm someone who definitely really likes to strive for a pump so I will have to give their pump pre-workout a try to see if maybe just supplementing with that you know makes a huge difference so on top of this I will definitely be adding my own amount of citrulline even though it does have a fair amount of citrulline so for that I was like okay I you know I got the good energy 250 milligrams of caffeine is a lot the beta alanine was perfect 3.2 grams I love that I, I find out that, that just like the sweet spot for me at least because otherwise then I'm too itchy that it's like I almost can't focus on my workout as for the flavor coconut it didn't taste like coconut it smells like coconut but it, it tastes like lime like I had mentioned um, so I wasn't I wasn't crazy about it I'd give the flavor like a 7.5 out of 10 where it's like I didn't hate it but I'm like you should have labeled it coconut lime and then I'd be like okay yeah I taste the lime definitely but to call it coconut and not even taste like coconut, but more like lime, kind of disappointed. But I know their EAAs have had awesome flavors before, so I feel like those flavors that I've had in their essentially amino acids, if I try them in the pre-workout, I'm sure they'd be awesome. I'll definitely have to give other other supplements a try. If you want me to get their pump pre-workout a try, let me know down below. Otherwise, if this review was helpful, helpful <laughs> for you guys, do give this video a nice big thumbs up. Do comment below what other supplements you'd like for me to try. If you wanted me to give their pump pre-workout a try, let me know also because that is something I haven't tried yet and would love to give a try and review and read up on it for you guys. So yeah, and if you haven't already, do subscribe and join the family. I don't know what else I have to say. I'm tired, I'm ready to go eat food and yeah. Go get gains, you guys. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.